Hello YouTube, uh, I'm not getting a very um, big gust of wind, but I did get a chance to test that idea and theory that I was using about how I was going to connect my uh, wind turbine, which is one of these basic Eagle ones. bought this one off eBay just as a little uh, hobby to see how this would work. Um, but anyway, it's hooked up to a you know stereo, two-farad um, capacitor. It's nothing big, nothing too fancy. If you remember from my first video, this was the original I had up to hooked up to it. I actually fried the circuit board until and until I get a new fuse, um, I won't have a digital display that tells me how many volts are in there. But when I hooked it up to my voltage meter and span it, spun it around a couple of times, um, I basically noticed that no voltage was going in there. So I actually hooked up a diode like I was supposed to and uh, spun it around some more. And I'm holding somewhere around 14 volts right now. Um, this is a standard 12 volt. Uh, motor um, it's not really going to go much higher than that because of the fact that it's not made to do so um, but my idea is to have two of these ferret um, two ferret capacitors hooked up two diodes both charging 12 volt capacitors and then wire the two capacitors in a circuit in series to double the voltage from 14 to 28 volts at the ferret capacity that it has with that being said basically i run a line that goes from here under the line into the house and um basically have somewhere around 28 volts on that 12 volt line that's rated i know it's only read at 20 volts but i figure you know with this uh small turbine it's nowhere it's gonna probably not get as as close to um uh, 14 volts you know while it's constantly being discharged by the solar charge controller so that's my theory now i mean obviously i'm gonna build a safety measure and there are some fuses get everything wired up as i always do but anyway that's my next project youtube i'm back in the house uh we just got um, pretty much the wires running into the house um where i have my wind turbine it's right now dark outside um i'm not going to play with it too much tonight but um from from bringing the wire in and hooking it up to one of these Chinese made pieces of crap I screwed up um, let me show you what I did uh, I gotta turn this light on uh -oh. okay alright if you're looking at this MPPT type um, charge controller that comes from China for $125 on eBay or $99 please take your $100 and throw it in the trash just throw it in the trash it's garbage. This thing melted on me on the first run. I did not even hook it up to a high-powered unit. I just hooked it up straight to the uh, super super capacitor and hooked it up straight to a 12-volt little deer feeder battery just to see what would happen. And it basically said the battery or it said that this thing overheated and now it won't turn on. It's garbage. Do not buy it. I bought two of them. The first one overheated and I thought it was because I had too much power on my roof. This thing is just garbage. This is my second charge controller that's burned up that's been the same type. Do not waste your money. Very upset about it.